What's up everyone? This is Mr. West. We are doing volume of cylinders, spheres, and cones word problems on none other than Khan Academy. Let's go ahead and get started. This is kind of a lot going on with word problems and all these different volumes, but I'm gonna break it down, hopefully make it a little bit easier for you. Francisco, Francisco, that's a fun name to say, is making an effort to drink more water and has set a goal of two liters per day. He wants to know the volume of the water bottle he takes to school each day. The water bottle has the dimensions shown in the diagram. Okay, so we got this little diagram set up here, 20 by 4. What is the volume of Francisco's water bottle? Well, this is a cylinder, if you didn't know. Okay, cylinder is a prism, type of prism that's got two bases, boom, boom, that are parallel to each other, okay? And they're circles, okay? So circular bases, and then that distance between those two parallel bases is called the height. So that's the height of our prism. Okay, the volume, okay, that's how much water it can hold. The volume is equal to the area of the base, and this goes for any prism, the area of the base times the height of the prism. Okay, and really I should make this yellow, so I'll make that yellow. The area of the base times the height of the prism is the volume of our cylinder. But more specifically, the area of the base is pi r squared because it is a circle. And then we're going to multiply that by, oops, that's my highlighter. And we're going to multiply that by the height of the prism. Okay. So we just need to identify which is which, and then we're going to go ahead and roll with it. So we have H is 20. That's the distance. And then we're given that the radius is four. Okay. The radius, not the diameter because it goes from the center to the circumference. So that's four. So we're just going to plug that stuff in. So we have four squared times 20. Oops, that's supposed to be green, times 20, and then we're gonna multiply that by pi. Now, it doesn't say, do we leave it in terms of pi? I don't think it says, let me just take a quick look. It doesn't say, I'm guessing we're gonna leave it in terms of pi, and we can just be mad at Khan Academy later if it doesn't let us uh, accept that for an answer. So we have 16, sorry, that's 16 times 20, times pi. You're going to do exponents first. So 16 times 20, that should be 320. So we're going to write this as 320. I always write the, you should write the pi after the coefficient. So we have 320 pi centimeters cubed r to the unit. Okay, it took it. it. Took it what we wanted. After painting his porch, Jamil has one fourth of a can of paint remaining. The can has a radius of eight centimeters and a height of 20. He wants to pour the remaining paint into a smaller can for storage. The smaller can has a radius of five centimeters. What does the height of the smaller can need to be to hold all of the paint? This is a great problem. Never seen it before, but I'm liking it. Um, so let's go ahead and start with his first can of paint. So the bottom line, always get the big picture before moving on. He's got a big can of paint and he's used, okay, he's got one fourth remaining. So this is only one fourth. Okay, so before he had one, two, three, four, he's already used that much of it, okay? Then he's gonna pour this thing into a smaller can of paint, okay? For safekeeping, I'm not sure why, but I mean, this is what he wants to do, so let's not fault him for it. He wants to put this into that, okay? And let's go ahead and label some other things. So we're told that he's got a fourth of a can of paint, okay, we got that. The can has a radius of eight, so we're gonna draw that radius in there. I want that to be red red okay so there's our radius and that's eight and a height of 20 they're all in centimeters so we're good there so this is 20 okay a smaller can has a radius of five centimeters but we can pick the height okay so it's got a variable height for us and i should have picked a different color i'll just go like this and call it the height all right so we're going to start we need to pick uh first find the volume of this purple can so the volume is going to be equal to pi r squared h pi times the radius 8 squared times h which is 20. okay this is going to be a pretty big volume we're going to have 64 times 20 so we have 1280 pi centimeters cubed for our volume of that big can okay now we want all of this volume up uh, time out but that was when it was full how much do we have left well we only have 
a fourth left. So guess what we need to do? We need to divide this number by four because we only have a fourth left. Almost forgot about that right here. We only have a fourth of that volume. So we're going to divide that by four, multiply by one fourth, and we get 320 centimeters cubed. Okay, guess what we're doing here? We're going to pour this can, this paint. Let's just make it green paint. Okay, we're going to pour that green paint into this one. So you better be sure that this blue can has enough space to hold all that. Well, the, the volume is going to be the same formula for the blue can, but we need to make sure that it can hold all 320 centimeters cubed, cubic centimeters of that paint. What do we know about the blue can? We know the radius is 5, so we're going to square it, but we don't know h. We're going to leave it alone, and we're going to try to solve for it so we, have, uh, we figure out how tall that can has to be. Okay, so we have 320. Okay, we're gonna simplify here. I'm gonna leave it in red. 320 equals 25 pi times h. Well, we need to divide by 25 pi to both sides, 25 pi. And that will get h by itself after we cancel out those things. So our, our h is equal to 320 over 25 pi. I'm not sure if that's gonna let us um, leave it as a as a decimal or a fraction. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, um, first off, I wrote that pi in the wrong spot. That pi has gotta be in the numerator. It's wrong if it's if it's not, okay? And you can put it off to the side, but I prefer it in the numerator. I'm gonna try just writing it as a fraction and seeing what happens. So 320 uh, pi, where'd my pi? Mm, there's no pi button, so guess what that means? That means I'm writing it as a decimal. So I got, I do 320 divided by 25, I get 12.8, and then I'm use, I'm gonna multiply by 3.14. That's generally what Khan Academy wants. It doesn't say how much it wants to draw, so I'm gonna write the whole thing, 40.192. Okay, not sure what happened. Let's take a look. I'm not sure if it wants it. Well, we can't put it in terms of pi. So we got one fourth. I'm just gonna double check our work, make sure it's all 64 times 20, 64 times 20 times pi. Let's see, let's see if we can multiply by pi the whole way and then we'll exchange that. Maybe it wants us to do that. So I got the volume in terms of a decimal, I got volume equals 1005.3. Well, it doesn't tell us how it wants us to round or anything. That's bogus. Normally it has to say that, okay? So then we're gonna say this equals uh, pi times, so the radius needs to be five, okay? So that's 25 after we square it times h. Well, 25 times pi equals 78.53. So we're gonna do this 1,000 divided by 78, 78.53 to both sides. And that should give us H alone, which I get to be 12.8. I don't know what I did. I think I got 12.8 as an answer, and then I multiplied that by pi or something. I think that's what I, I did. I don't know why I did that, but it's 12.8. I don't know what happened before with what I did, uh, but uh, yeah, I screwed up. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys followed the process at least. I don't, I'm not sure what I did. Ah, I think I did it right, and then... I don't know, whatever. Hopefully you guys can go back, watch it, and see what I did. Leave a comment what I did wrong. But I got it the second time, that's what counts. Volume of cylinders, okay, second, third problem. The French fry stand at the fair serves the fries in paper cones. The cones have a radius of two centimeters. Okay, let's draw this cone. It's got a radius of two centimeters. Let's see if we can recover from that. Two centimeters, two inches, woof, and a height of six, six. It is a challenge to fill the narrow cones with their long fries. They want to use new cones that have the same volume, but a radius of four. What will the height of the new cones be? Okay, so we're gonna set these two equal to each other. So we need to find the current volume of this, which is pi r squared h, the same thing as the cylinder, except that you divide by three. So pi r squared h divided by three. We're gonna do four, oh sorry, let me write it out. I'm skipping steps here, times six times pi divided by three. So we get 424 pi over three equals the volume, and we need this to be equal to this with its new decided h. So what does that mean? Well, it's gonna be 24 pi over three, that's the volume. Volume equals pi r squared 
h over 3. We're going to leave the pi there. We're going to make the radius 4, so 4 squared. We're going to make the height unknown, and we're going to divide it by 3. Okay? So essentially what we can do is we can... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. I'm going to... Uh, 3 over pi. That essentially cancels out the 3, cancels out the 3, cancels out the pi, cancels out the pi on both sides. Okay? That's what we want to do. So now we just have a more simple equation. 24 equals 16 squ 14 squared is 16 times h. I meant to make that h green. There. So now I need to divide both sides by 16. 24 divided by 16. I'm guessing it wants it in decimal form. 24 divided by 16. And I get 1.5 inches. So our h is going to be 1.5 inches for the exact same volume, but it's just different dimensions with a little bit wider. Easier to fill up that ice cream cone. I'm hoping this is a sphere. Okay, gumballs. It's a sphere. Stacy hits the jackpot one day at the gumball machine. She puts in a quarter and gets four gumballs rather than one. The radius of each gumball is six millimeters. Okay. Here's our gumball. Okay. Looks something like that. Actually, that's not bad. First shot, that's pretty good. Okay, so six millimeters. She puts in a quarter and gets four gumballs rather than one. What is the total volume of all four gumballs? Okay, so we just have to find the volume of one multiplied by four. I don't know why it's making such a big deal. Okay, so we have volume equals four thirds pi r cubed for a um, sphere. So that means we're going to do four thirds pi six cubed. That's going to be a pretty large number. So we're going to do six times six times six. That's what that means. That's 216. Four thirds pi times 216. So 216 times 4 divided by 3. And I get 288 pi. Now, we get four gumballs instead of one. We want the total volume of all four. We need to multiply this by four. And I can leave in terms of pi. Finally, it tells us, geez. So we get 288 um, times four. Okay, so I get 1,152 pi, and that's my answer, millimeters cubed of all four gumballs. Check in. God, what did I do this time? <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Oh, I forgot the pie. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, I hope you guys learned from my mistakes. It says keep on practicing for me. Anyway, I hope I, it helped you uh, understand how to do these word problems. Hope you learned something today and you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a comment on anything else you need covered. And I hope to see you next time on West Explains Best.